Hey everyone, this is my third video where I attempt to show how I play every acoustic guitar song on two amazing albums, The Early Years Volume 1 and 2 by an absolute American treasure and genius songwriter, Tom Waits. Um, today I'm only gonna cover one video. I'm gonna cover Rocking Chair and I'm gonna try to break it down in detail. It is a finger picking song. And so if you don't know how to finger pick, you know, take a run at it for sure. But I learned to finger pick to the extent that I can finger pick by listening to Mississippi John Hurt like everyone else has. If you don't know Mississippi John Hurt, stop what you're doing right now and listen to Mississippi John Hurt. Dylan, Wilco, you name it, everyone picked up from Mississippi John Hurt. He is absolutely the best and a very humble and special soul. So um, let's get started. Okay, this is a finger picking song using an alternating bass. Um, I don't read music, I don't know the names of the chords, but I'll show you how I figure it out. I listen for the bass first, then I play the rest of it. So the bass is alternating here um, in the first part with what is effectively like a C, but without the lower finger. So take a G, these two notes, drop them down to, and the bass alternates between here, and then he switches to a G. Now the bass, this third string is common. So he alternates between That's the picking pattern for the bass. Um, on the high string, um, it's the uh, third fret here, and then this fret, so it's like this. Pinch. Sorry about that. So that's that part. Then he goes to what is, I think, in the somewhere in the domain of an E. I don't know what it is. Um, I listen pretty closely. You would think he would play that which would be a kind of a common way to play it but he doesn't I think he leaves out this middle string so let me show you what that looks like it's like uh it's a second lowest string on the second fret and the fourth lowest string on the second fret and he's playing the four middle strings then he goes to the C okay then he goes up to what is super cool um he slides the Sometimes twice, sometimes once. He slides up to the fifth fret with the capo on, and he plays the Hendrix chord. Um, they call it the Hendrix chord because Hendrix used a lot in Purple Haze. It's, that's the Hendrix chord. Anyhow, the way it looks, it's some diminished seven, something or other. Anyhow, the way it looks is from the, the my first finger on, um, it's the uh, third fret, second highest string, the... Uh, third lowest string on the fourth fret, and then the next two strings surrounding that. So that's uh, these two strings on the fifth fret. And the, the note sounds like that. Now what he does, which is really cool, is he alternates the bass here. And feel free to go to town on that one. He gets real sloppy, it sounds better when it's sloppy. So that's that pattern. So it's same shape, down two. Then when he transitions to the next part, I think it's like this. And he plays open. Back to that part. Then he goes to the... So this is uh, something like an A, A7, I think. It's uh, uh, so open. plays a couple different ways, but that's the, the gist of it. Um, I think that's the whole song. The only other thing he does at the end, which is kind of cool, is he does this kind of demented version of it where he goes... Uh, uh, and what that is, is it's... Good luck on the finger-picking pattern on that. It's very non-traditional. He plays uh, this, this pattern like we showed before. And then he grabs this uh, third string, third highest string on the uh, third fret. And he, and he pinches the lowest two. And again, he gets super demented on that one. So feel free to go to town. That is the whole song. He does some other things like he does some other fills in there that you can feel free to figure out, but I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.